half what I'm saying, but we're gonna hope. It's time for one of our annual car show adventures, and uh, you'll notice I'm not in the usual car show mobile. I just kind of figured, you know, the buggy's finally back together. We're off to Silver Lake next weekend. Why not a nice test drive down to the car cruise downtown? So, meet some buddies down there. One of my buddies got a Corvette, like a 78 Corvette. Another friend's bringing who knows what, something exciting. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go cruise, uh, cruise the old buggy downtown. It used to be like a 1982 Endure show. And then a couple years ago, some guy in a green Mustang did a nasty burnout all the way down Main Street. And ever since then, the original people no longer do the show. Can't imagine why. But uh, a new group's taken over, so uh, now it's like 20 or 25 years older. So regardless, we fit in in this thing. So we're getting downtown, get set up somewhere, hopefully be close to the friends. and. Uh, have a good time it's like 72 degrees and sunny honestly in this rig is a little chilly so I decided to we go in jeans today and I got a I got a hoodie next to me just in case but y'all you have no idea I've uh, I've been a busy boy I've been doing a lot of work to the old buggy getting ready I uh, put a set of big tires on that came off my four-seater frame I thought it'd be a good idea to make it look kind of cool goodness gracious I thought it would make it look kind of sick, and it did. I went to drive it, I thought I was gonna die. Those tires were not meant to be on this thing. It made me realize my driver's side outer tie rod end is just completely whooped. That tire was just shaking in the breeze going down the road. So I brought it home, put the old tire, wheels tires back on, the skinnies. I was like, okay, I'm a smart guy. I've got my four-seater on the barn, so I will grab a tie rod off that. Because the one on this, of course, whoever had it before me at some point, welded the outer tie rod in onto the full assembly. So you can't swap the tie rod end out. So you gotta do the whole shebang. And of course, I'm one week from Silver Lake, and I was two days from this car cruise. I'm like, nobody's gonna have a full tie rod assembly for this car. So I go out and I grab one off the four-seater, bring it up, I'm like, oh my God, it's not the same. So apparently my four-seater is a kingpin front beam and this two-seat buggy is a ball joint. So this tie rod end assembly, everything, the, the nuts, the bolts, the everything, it's all, it's all bigger than the uh, kingpin on the four-seater. So that didn't work, so I put it all back together. Tie rod's kind of smoked, but it's on there-ish. And uh, I ordered an assembly from Apple Tree, I think is the correct one, fingers crossed. Hopefully it'll be right, it'll be here sometime next week, like Wednesday-ish. And I leave for Silver Lake on Friday. So, fingers crossed that shipping does what it's supposed to. Otherwise, I'll be going to Apple Tree when I'm up there. Thankfully, Apple Tree, for those of you who know what Apple Tree is but don't know where they are, Apple Tree's in mirrors right next to Silver Lake. So, worst case scenario, I go grab one there. Hopefully they have it in stock. That's been a problem, as you'll remember uh, from prior videos about certain parts being in stock. I'll, uh, I'll link up above the last time I had to go to Apple Tree and find parts that I ended up buying the more expensive version. But anyway, got the uh, old tie rod. Oh, so of course, when I took the old tie rod end off, the old tie rod off, I beat the crap out of it with a, with a three pound sledge to get it off. So of course, I, the threads were not happy. I couldn't put it back together. I had to run to Harbor Freight, grab a set of tap and dies, get it re-threaded, now it's back together. So at least I can drive it around town. So I'm like, finally, got it, we're good. I don't have to worry anymore. I know what I'll do now. I'll rip the shocks off and put my new shocks on. So then I discovered that the shocks I bought weren't exactly right. And the old ones, of course, the rubber grommets going onto the spindles on the car were completely just welded together. So there's no saving them and putting them back on. It's been an exciting 24 hours, folks, I'll tell you that. Like, I've had my work cut out for me. Got some new, just cheapo Monroe shocks on the front. So you just hit a bump, felt great. The old ones, you push them together and like snail's pace, they would reset. So I really think those shocks are gonna make a big difference on the front end of this thing. Anyway, so this is a downtown car cruise here in Battle Creek. 
uh, used to be called Cruise the Gut, now it's called Cruise the Creek after the new folks took over. Um, yeah, that used to be a fun little rig to kind of cruise the streets in. So, not sure where we're going to get a spot, but either way it'll be fun. Shortly here we're probably going to hit a barricade where they're not going to let any modern cars in. So, my wife's behind right now with the kids in the van. Not sure where they're going to park. Yeah, I am ready for Silver Lake. I am so excited. This thing, I just, I think it's going to be a completely different animal. We're back to the site of the famous Suzubaru sighting. I wonder what year the Suzubaru is. Maybe he'll be down here. Oh wait, he was here last year. Or, yeah, last year. We'll definitely have a Suzubaru sighting at some point. Should have made up some stickers to hand out to him. And you get a sticker. And you get a sticker. And there's a sick Impala in front of me, by the way. And we're going. All our gauges are good. I don't smell or see any oil burning. What was Impala in front of me? He's got a U-Haul hitch on it. That's sweet. Old school trailer towing. Man, a lot of cool stuff out here already. How this C8 vet sneak in? Sometimes you just never know. You don't know until you know. Getting waves from the other buggies. That's how you know you're in the right spot. Yeah, let's see if we can find out uh, where the family ended up. I haven't seen him yet. I've seen one friend out of the two I'm looking for. And everyone else is together in the van. The way this upper windshield bar is placed is right where the traffic lights are, which is super convenient. All right, back parking lot. Let's see if we can find anybody back here. Lots more cars. This is sweet. Oh, wagon. Wagon spotting. Sitting in traffic, kind of idling around. Temp still just over 160. Cooling fans not even on on the oil cooler. Not too bad. Here we go, folks. Back in the car. The sun has gone down ish. And uh, the cops are pulling everybody over, so we're going to get out of town while we still can. After doing one lap of the city, of course. I mean, how do you not? Beetle! <laughs> oh, yeah. We haven't done a night ride in this thing, I don't think, ever. The buggy's first night ride. There's the thumbnail. First night ride. We got our license plate light. We got all kinds of stuff, guys. I sort of have gauges. So we're going to do one lap of the cruise and then get out of town. I can't not do one. It's very busy. Yeah, it's opened up a lot. I mean, this event just ended, so that kind of makes sense. Hopefully, you guys got to see me. We got some street lights for now. Shortly, you're not gonna be able to see me at all. All right, make the turn. Oh yeah, this will be fun. This was probably a bad idea on my part. It's all right, we gotta make the loop. We're obligated by contract to make the loop one time. I mean, we technically did it earlier, but this is more in the show. It's, I don't know, what is it? 67 degrees? It's like my natural habitat, honestly. Got the brewery here on our left. Would love to stop in for a quick pint, but you know, it's the most conspicuous vehicle and I'm wearing the most conspicuous shirt, so I figure it's a bad move. All you smell is just leaded, 110 octane. Not out of this, of course. Not out of everything else, or a lot of it at least. It's been a weird show, because you know, like I said before, this thing used to be all pre-1982, so you had your usual classic cars. But now, like, literally the Escalade next to me has a chandelier hanging behind the second row. I'm looking at it right now. I don't know if it's factory or what, but I, maybe I should get one right here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do I need a chandelier? There's been some interesting rigs, is what I'll say. Oh, there was a guy in a Miata. Slam Miata, white wheels, you know, Crazy exhaust, getting up on the two-step, going on the street, popping, being way too loud. It freaked my son out, honestly. And uh, a couple minutes ago, I'll throw a picture up in the video. Saw the dude getting pulled up onto a flatbed with the cops behind him. So it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. I just don't get it. You know, I get that stuff's cool, but it's like, why do you have to be, you know, an idiot and ruin everybody's time with crap like that? It's just, you know, you're in, like, going down a city street, you got brick buildings on both sides. Everything's just echoing. It's like, 
man, I guess it's kind of cool, but like, you got families and stuff. You're not at the racetrack or whatever. Maybe it's a controversial opinion. But yeah, we've seen all kinds of crazy stuff, you know, way more modern stuff. I saw a Lamborghini Urus running around, which I thought was very interesting for Battle Creek, Michigan. Uh, a couple C8s. Uh, what else did I see that was unique? I mean, old stuff that's super cool is more unique to me, but you know, a couple neat newer things. I saw some wagons. I saw this gold kind of gold, brown gold blazer, K5 blazer. The thing looked better than it did when it came off the, the, the assembly line, I'm sure. It was so clean. Unbelievable. Biker. I hope my license plate light's on. I can't tell, but it should ish be on, I guess, maybe. Temp's great. Oil pressure's. 99 PSI. I don't know. I think she's back, baby. Buggy's back. And as I say that, it just grenades. <laughs> yeah, also earlier, there's a guy driving a sick dune buggy down the street. This thing sounded nasty. And then I saw him uh, doing some launches in the street and a couple of cops walked up to him. Dude had five cops giving him the business in the street. Maybe if I can figure it out, I'll throw some of that video in too. Yeah, they, uh, they were having him push it down the road. They literally had this guy out of his car, out of his buggy for a few minutes, talking to him in the middle of the road. Didn't care about any traffic behind him. And uh, yeah, I think that dude, uh, yeah, he they made him push his buggy down the street. So I'm not sure what happened to that guy, but uh, I gotta lay low. <laughs> Buggies are public enemy number one right now. I mean, after Mustangs, of course. Oh, my turn signal's been on that entire time. That's embarrassing. You're having these bricks, you think the motor's letting go. They're just shaking around. All right, main drag. Hey, catch it, bro. <laughs> My friends are gone. Everybody got smart and left. I'm the last one here. I got to make it out somehow. so fun. <laughs> Dude's just looking at me, I'm like, beep beep. Rev next to cops. Good choice, my dude. All right, we are almost, well, not quite home free, but on our way to being home free. Can you even see me? I guess you, eh, GoPro according to this camera angle, seems to be still showing me. Oof, the battery's getting low, though, my guy. We'll make it. It's probably got 10 minutes in her, I hope. Turn signal activated. Lights activated. Yellow light on the other lane activated. Green light activated? Eh, all right, flashing yellow, I'll take it. Pedestrians activated. Crap! Here we go. And we're out! Let's get out of this mess. Oh my god, there's just cars everywhere. There's a Monte Carlo with Lamborghini doors on it. There's a Caprice just doing shit in front of me. Oh, this is where the interesting crowd is. Oh yeah, baby! We're on our way now. Ooh, that was some speed for the first time. I might need this sweatshirt next to me. It is chilly in the wind. 
I'll tell you what, folks. While you can still see me, I should probably sign off. I'll keep the video rolling in case uh, anything fun happens. But uh, appreciate y'all stopping by and checking the video. You know, I was gonna go around and get some film, uh, get some video of the show itself, but I was having too much fun. My kids were complete crazy people, and uh, which is great. I'm glad they had a good time and they got to enjoy some of this. But uh, yeah, you know, it was a fun time. Hope you liked the video. Uh, I know I didn't really show you any cool cars. You can tell me what you thought in the comments, but you know, just leave me a comment about anything. Tell me what the weather's like or, you know, whatever you think, how you feel about my shirt. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of strong opinions about that, but uh, yeah, appreciate you stopping by and check out the video as always, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks.